Just give me a minute, little dog. Oh. All right, guys. It is another exciting Wednesday night in Doomsday Trailer. We are halfway through November of 2023. It is Wednesday, November 15th, and uh, <coughs> so why am I not surprised that uh, Andy the gardener has come through again? The uh, <laughs> intrepid Andy the gardener has managed to come up with the comment of the day. I really, what, what, uh, when I made that rant about uh, to people 55 or older be better off dead, I honestly did not realize that Andy the Gardener was 55 years old, which means, well, he would probably be better off dead, and uh, I don't think he would argue with that, so... Uh, <coughs> I want to read Andy the Gardener's comment, but I want to use it kind of as a segue into a subject. I, I don't think I've ever done a rant on this simply because I don't know how to pronounce the fucking word. But we're going to let the little robot pronounce S-C-H-A-D-E-N-F-R-E- U D E. Take it away, little German speaking robot, and teach this dumb Georgia cracker. I'm one fourth German, by the way. So, how do you pronounce this damn word? Schadenfreude. 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 Okay, just so, uh, I might as well, uh, define Schadenfreude before I get into Andy's comments so it'll make some sense to you. If you don't know what this damn word means exactly, it is, means pleasure derived by someone from another person's misfortune. Schadenfreude is the experience of pleasure, joy, or self-satisfaction that comes from learning of or witnessing the troubles, failures, or humiliations of another person. So, uh, we will come back to this, but first... Let's hear from Andy the Gardener uh, commenting on my rant. After age 55, are you better off dead? <clears throat> Take it away, Andy. Absolutely. Nobody <coughs> should live beyond 55. Old people are disgusting even more than babies and most young people. I am 55. If I was stupidly climbing Mount Everest, I would have climbed into the death zone. If you get this far, you've only got yourself to blame. I am older than 99% of medieval humans. Humans are not supposed to get this old. I, I am pretty sure I remember reading, I don't know whether it was Desmond Morris or Jared Diamond claiming that humans, that essentially what we are, if you haven't figured this out, we are a species of chimpanzee. We are, we are just one of the apes. And we, I think we're supposed to have a natural lifespan of 37 years old if we hadn't invented shit like fossil fuels and modern medicine and antibiotics and vaccines and all of that crap uh, that should be keeping our numbers in check. 
I think we're supposed to have a shelf life of 37 years. Sounds about right. <clears throat> Where are we? Anyway, humans are not supposed to get this old. I should be a granddad. What the fuck? There's nothing wrong physically with me. I'm one of those weirdly young-looking old people condemned to limbo, looking okay to others, but mocked by the knowledge of my real age. You can stay young-looking and gorgeous all you want to with good diet, exercise, and good genes, but there is no escaping chronological age. It's hideous seeing it creep up every year. The thought of death is my happy place. <clears throat> it's a comforting and fuzzy feeling. <clears throat> it's, even, it's even worse being old in the UK, the most guilty of still being a live nation on Earth. I saw this story <clears throat> on the local news yesterday. A worker at a scrap metal recycling place fell into the shredding machine, but his boss never noticed he was missing. Thought he'd gone home, or so he claimed in court, and so never reported it. So they never found the body, or the bits of it anyway. His fleshy remains just got dumped in the landfill somewhere. Presumably, blood and gore splashed all over the crushing machine was the evidence of what happened, but they didn't go into details. Imagine falling into an industrial shredding machine. They said death would be instant, but would it have been? Probably. Maybe, lol. It's stuff like that, and of course Gaza, etc., and all the other horrible things coming along now, the cost of living crisis that I see on the news, that gives me a reason to go on. A life without schadenfreude that I already forget how to say it, a life without schadenfreude would be truly miserable. But mostly, I want to see things play out. I just find it interesting. It's great being alive, especially now, even if you were just a brain in a jar or a transhuman former identity residing temporarily on a computer chip <clears throat> with zero chance of any rumpy pumpy, it would still be fun seeing how civilization ends. <laughs> yes, it will be, Andy. One more time, how the hell, but I want to, uh, I think we've beaten the dead horse of people 55 and older being better off dead. But one more time, how do you pronounce this word? Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude. Okay. The experience of pleasure, joy, or self-satisfaction that comes from learning of or witnessing the troubles, failures, or humiliation of another. So, uh, do I agree with Andy the gardener about the guy falling in an industrial sh shredding machine? Uh, I, I don't know, Andy. I just, it doesn't give me the, uh, you know, that little high like I get from, uh, you know, like my favorite, of course, is like when a rhino poacher or an elephant poacher gets eaten by a lion. You know, whenever I hear 
about uh, <clears throat> especially poachers, but, but even, quote, legal big game hunters, particularly uh, ones uh, uh, hunting apex predators uh, being killed, you know, when, whenever a bear hunter gets mauled and killed by a grizzly bear. I mean, it, it makes my day. You know, th there has to be some sort of, uh, you, you know, ironic angle to schadenfreude for, for me to get a, 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 a kick out of it. You know, it's got to have a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of karmic justice, a little bit of poetic justice in there. Uh, you know, for instance, I was just reading this, this, this story from over there on the Limp Dick Lefty Press. And, and I've noticed, have, have any of you guys noticed this? This, this uh, I don't know if it's quite a meme yet, but what they do is they take a prisoner uh, who, is, who is in prison for some sort of violent crime, and, and, I, and, and I guess the, the, this violent incarcerated criminal is having some sort of a bad hair day in prison. I guess uh, they confuse prison with, with the fucking country club. Uh, I, I, I don't know. What, what the fuck do you think prison is? And, and, and they make these violent criminals out to be some sort of fucking whatever, so, you know, some loving father or, a, you know, who, who just, uh, I don't know, sucker punched some old lady in the fucking subway and, and, and doesn't like the taste of his dinner in prison. So anyway, I was reading this article yesterday, I almost did a rant on it, but this is a perfect example of uh, what, what I am talking about, what gives me joy. So the, the, this scumbag, this fucking scumbag, uh, was in prison for assault. It gave no details of why the motherfucker uh, was in prison for assault. Well, guess what happened to him in prison? He got assaulted and killed. He, he, he got killed when he was assaulted by the other prisoners. He never would have been in fucking prison if he hadn't assaulted somebody. I absolutely love it when I read about violent criminals uh, being murdered by other violent criminals, uh, especially rapists, you know. The, 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 these fucking rapists. Uh, you know, I hope every one of these goddamn rapists, the day they get into prison, then they turn into somebody's bitch and, and they're fucking gang raped uh, by, by a bunch of, uh, you, you, you know, shining uh, examples of humanity uh, every day of their fucking lives. You know, so... Death to violent criminals by other violent criminals in prison gives me, uh, you know, it, it, it makes my day. Uh, not, it, it doesn't make me as, as happy a, as a rhino poacher, uh, you know, getting trampled by an elephant. Uh, you know, those are, uh, I always, another one is whenever you, you know, hear about the elephant. The, the, it's always a rogue, a rogue elephant just having enough of this fucking bullshit and stomping this little pipsqueak human to death. It's really good when they do it in front of, you know, 20,000 people at the circus. I absolutely love it when a circus elephant stomps to death. The, the, the fucking, uh, you know, the little sadist that has been uh, torturing him uh, all his life. Um, but the, you know, the, the prisoners aren't quite to that extent, but, but, you know, pretty much is. 
Uh, so we need more prisoners being killed by other prisoners in the U.S. prison system. That is the, the, the only time that I see the U.S. prison system working is examples like that. And uh, uh, these fucking little limp dick lefty, it was probably fucking Huff Post or something, uh, ma making this goddamn, uh, this, this fucking punk out to be some innocent fucking victim. Why the fuck do you think you were in prison, you clueless fucking moron? You fucking assaulted somebody. You're better off fucking dead. You know, a big fucking loss to the planet. As Bill Hicks would probably be saying in this case. You know, some clueless fucking... Uh, idiot uh, on acid or whatever uh, thinking they can fly and jumping out a fucking window uh, you know thinking they're a fucking pigeon and, and, and hitting the goddamn ground uh, you know I, I, I enjoyed those stories didn't Art Linkletter's was it Art Linkletter's daughter thought she was a fucking pigeon and went flying out the seventh story uh, you know, that gives me a, a, a little bit of, you know, that, that kind of makes my day. Uh, whenever clueless fucking morons, you know, some Turon, I love that term, Turon, and, uh, you know, in Yellowstone, when all they see, they, they see a floating pair of tennis shoes. Uh, it, it, you know, bobbing around a hot spring. Uh, hell yeah, that makes my day. Uh, a, a, a fucking bison uh, stomping some fucking dumb redneck. Uh, those uh, those stories uh, bring me bring me Shatten Shatten Freude. And then there's just. It, 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 you know, people who I just who I just despise. You know, I mean, like Donald Trump choking to death on a fucking McDonald's French fry would absolutely uh, Donald Trump choking to death on a fucking French fry from McDonald's would uh, it, it wouldn't just make my day; it would make my week. And and so what? You know, I. I I don't understand this as much as I despise Joe Biden. Okay, if if I read the story tomorrow that Joe Biden, you know, fell down the stairs of Air Force One, you know, he 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 tumbled down the stairs, and his because uh, he's too old to walk anymore and died in falling down the stairs of Air Force One. I mean, I would get a chuckle out of that, but it wouldn't bring me the same level of joy that uh, Donald Trump choking on a French fry would because although I despise Joe Biden, you know, Joe Biden he still is somewhat deserving of pity, but but you know Donald Trump, I I I he offends me on what's called a cellular level. That just looking at his face, hearing his voice, uh, just and just the thought that we never need to hear that motherfucker's voice again ever uh, would, would, would make my day. It was like, you know, when that fucking cunt down here in Florida blew her fucking brains out two years ago. Uh, and, you know, all I had been telling the universe, I, I never told the universe I wanted that bitch dead. Okay. I, I never said to the universe, I want that bitch dead. I simply told the universe, you know, every day for like six months, 
I never want to see that bitch's face or hear that fucking nasty bitch's voice again. And, oh, you know, two weeks before I was supposed to return to Florida, she blows her fucking brains out. Uh, that was, that was schadenfreude. Uh, and not, not only uh, did it, that wasn't so much humor as, it's just relief. And it was relief as much for her and anybody who, who knew her as me, although it did put about $20,000 in my fucking pocket, that 50 cent bullet going through that bitch's head. Uh, at least, uh, probably, I, I figure $20,000 is what that bullet made me. Not quite sure. Now, that, that that's an example. Uh, now, Andy <clears throat> mentioned Gaza. And, you know, Andy, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'm kind of with you on Acapulco. Uh, I, I, I'm not quite ready to say that what's going on in Gaza uh, brings me pleasure. And I honestly don't believe you, Andy the Gardener, when you, when you claim that. Uh, I, 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 I think that's called uh, hyperbole. I don't know. Uh, but what that's an example of, Gaza, Haiti, uh, <clears throat> well, you, you know, pick your, pick your, your third world shithole hellhole. It, it's not exactly that uh, what, uh, schadenfreude, what it is, as I've talked about, uh, is getting beyond the place of no pity. That, uh, you know, the, the reason that all those kids I, are, are dying in Gaza is because they were born. I, 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 you know, I, I, I hate to be so fucking blunt about it, but it's the truth. Someone who is never born cannot die a violent death. It's that fucking simple. And when you see examples like Gaza, which is the fucking poster child of overshoot, uh, once the population of Gaza past about 10,000, it went into overshoot. If the population of Gaza was 10,000 or less people, you would not have what's going on in Gaza. If, if the, you know, same with fucking Haiti or, 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 or all of this immigration shit. Uh, it, it's what happens when a species goes into overshoot, uh, it's going, the, the population, one way or another, it, it is going to collapse uh, and, and, and die uh, until it is brought back into balance. This, this is a simple statement uh, of, of population ecology. It has nothing to do w with giving me pleasure. It's just like, it's just like, well, uh, sorry guys, uh, you should have thought of it. Uh, you know, when, when you're importing 80% 80, 80 of the fucking food uh, on your fucking table, it came from uh, outside of Gaza. Maybe it's time to keep your fucking pecker in your fucking pants. You know, it's a, again, it's not giving me pleasure. It's just saying, nanny, nanny, boo boo, told you so. Anyway. Uh. But I do want to 
thank Andy the gardener for uh, reminding me that this rant was overdue and I really hope to hell tomorrow that I open the news and um, I see that Donald Trump Jr. has been trampled by a giraffe or whatever he's trying to kill over there in Africa and that Donald Trump uh, has died choking on a McDonald's french fry uh, would be the greatest day uh, certainly, uh, since that bitch put a bullet through her head down here in Florida two years ago. Anyway, guess it's time to go over to Netflix and watch cute cat videos. Bye, guys.